What is up everyone in the Ripple and XRP community? Good morning, happy Monday. It is Labor Day over here in the US. It is September 5th. Pretty sure most people got today off. As you know, today's the last day of my vacation. Kind of sad, kind of upset. Two weeks, two weeks and it just flew by. That's what happens when you're having a good time, but all's good because back to work on Tuesday, Wednesday softball league kicks off co-ed. Thursday, men's league. Next week, kickball's back in the mix. I'm going to be a busy man. Plus, September is going to be a massive month for announcements for the Lux Lions community. Plus, all, each and every one of you who have joined and who have so far taken part in the metaverse, buying your plots of land, we got a big month ahead. You are not going to want to miss out. The link to the Discord is below. You need to get over there. We got a big announcement coming out this morning. But in this video, you can probably already tell what we are about to talk about. We're going to talk about a high valuation XRP. Why I think a high price, a high XRP price is needed. I am going to bring you nothing but facts in this video. We're going to talk anywhere from the elite wave theory to central banks to Nostro Vostro accounts to the utility aspect to the speculation aspect and where that is going to take us. We're going to go all the way back to an early interview from Brad Gollinghouse talking about Nostra Volstro accounts, and we're going to tie that into a Hoarder blog from back in the day. Many of you probably do not know who Hoarder is, but he was one of the original OG XRP community members. He used to have a blog, very, very intelligent guy. Some people say he worked for Ripple. Some people say he was an insider. I just say he was a very smart man, and he knew where this was going. So without further ado, let's not waste any time, because I got a pool party I got to get ready for. You know I'm going out with a bang today. Bitcoin. $19,732 and it's currently down 0.5%. Ethereum is coming at $1,568. It's currently up 0.48%. As we scroll down to get to the number eight coin, we see XRP is coming in at a mean lean 0.325 cents. It is down 2.46 on the 24 hour. Not too shabby. Total cryptocurrency market cap has dropped below a trillion dollars, coming at 997, 997 billion as the Bitcoin dominance continues to creep on down 37.86%. Now, for those of you who do not know, big announcement coming today, announcements coming all month. I'll tell you right now, there is a P2E game that is coming out. It is very, very close. To being finished we tested it we liked it but we want a couple of changes changes are being implemented it's about to be released we're going to drop it over there on the site but if you head to my twitter and you check out the pin post you can see the article because we were featured in yahoo finance why did we get featured in yahoo finance because we signed a massive metaverse deal with aftermath islands who just received over 25 million dollars in funding who got vegas.com the largest las vegas booking website in the world connected to them who will be building out a identical a replica strip of the vegas strip which will be connected up to the lux lines oasis you got paul mccartney sister ruth mccartney with fab island who will be connected to the lux lines oasis this is an open ecosystem my friends not like these other metaverse projects where they are closed just to token holders think about all the visits and all the eyes that people are going to have and you get to make real money and as you got passive income up the wazoo you need to get over to the discord you need to get yourself land you can pay an xrp you could pay paypal pay however we want we don't care just make your payment and secure it today here's the thumbnail high valuation xrp needed let's jump into this thing first up i put out a tweet last night i was like hey listen you don't really hear about bitcoin mining anymore you it used to be the thing everyone got these little graphic cards they bought these bitcoin miners for thousands of dollars they set them up in the garage to try to make money back from bitcoin yes they kind of, it's kind of like it's fading away right it's becoming more institutionalized is what it sounds like here is the cost to mine one bitcoin in every country over twenty three thousand dollars in the u.s twenty four thousand dollars in canada sixteen thousand dollars in russia just to mine one bitcoin folks this is these prices are absurd it's probably why you don't see the everyday joe doing it you would need to move somewhere like angolia where it only costs seven thousand dollars to get it to get it done i don't even know where angolia is looks like it's in south africa yeah no Maybe I can't even tell, but you get the point here. 
Unreal, folks. And then this, Quat put this out. This is an interesting clip because we talk about CBDCs a lot because we know that's where Ripple's going after. They're going after central bank digital currencies. They're going after XRP being the bridge for these CBDCs. I want you to listen to this minute clip. Um, you know, from, from our recent experience on, on the practical sense, we're actually implementing the retail CBDC in Latin America for 12 countries. And, and this is really creating uh, the Latin American dollar. It's, it's a way to um, upgrade the, the financial infrastructure for, for these countries to 2022, because most of them are using very old or antiquated methods of, of settlement and, and payment rails. Having digital assets really enables the growth of that economy and the cross-border flow of, of money and trade across those those 12 countries initially, and then and then we're, we're connecting that up to the US. So we've seen the practical benefit of a retail CBDC to the end user, to the, to the, to the end business, um, having access to real-time settlement, real-time money and, and cross-border flows, which they never had a, a year or two ago. And, and the work that we're doing is actually going live in, in 2023 uh, across across Latin America. Live in 2023 across Latin America, folks, CBDCs, fight them all you want. They are coming. My man Michael puts this out. We talk about the IMF a lot as well. There is a reason. The International Monetary Fund says that collaborations between central banks and crypto technology could create an innovative and efficient monetary system. The stage is being set. It's being set right in front of your very eyes. Many people will, will not read these. Many people will look past this. If it's not on their local news channel, they don't want to know what's going on in the world. But there are bigger things at play. Cryptocurrency is taking over. The world is going to a digital system. It is that obvious. This has sped up very, very rapidly ever since COVID. If you have noticed, a lot of places, places have gone cashless. That is the start of the movement to go digital. People use their credit and debit cards every day. That is a form of a digital payment. Then Michael says Saudi Arabia Central Bank has appointed Mohassan al -Zia. A former managing director at consultant firm Accenture, or Accenture Deep Deep Ties with Ripple, to head its virtual assets and central bank digital currency initiative. Why am I showing you this? Well, it's simple. Because the Saudi Arabian Central Bank is now, they, well, they're the ones who hired this guy, first of all, but now they're looking for someone to head its virtual asset and CBDC initiative. Why is that a big deal? Well, who remembers this article from 2018? Rep Van Winkle does, buddies, ladies and gentlemen. Ripple and Saudi Arabia Monetary Authority and Central Bank Saudi Arabia. They started a pilot program for all uh, Saudi banks. And what were they using at the time? X Current, which didn't leverage a digital asset. But what do we know? The three tiers here get them to move over to a digital payment rail x current once they're comfortable with the digital payment rail have them start leveraging a digital asset xrp once they're comfortable with that have them purchase and buy and put xrp on their order books and this is the central bank of saudi arabia folks they're already working with Ripple. Why did they just head someone to take on their CBDC initiative? What do you think is going to happen? Ripple's only working with 40 to 50 central banks since 2018. It's now 2022. They are moving forward. CBDCs, private ledger, XRP. Then I want to get to this. So how much money is actually tied up in these Nostra Vostra accounts? This is a very big question. And I remember when that lady, Fran France, Francis, was it Francis? Francie, whatever her name was, Coppola, put out that Forbes article calling Ripple a liar pretty much saying there's no such thing as a Nostra Vostra account. This money doesn't exist. He's out of his mind. Ripple's lying to you. It was the biggest hit piece I've ever seen in quite some time. Well, fun factor on Nostra Vostra accounts, banks, payment institutions, um, institutional invest. Everyone has made it clear. The question is how much money is really in those. We've seen numbers range anywhere from 5 trillion all the way up to about 20, I think it come up to like 20 trillion, about 27 trillion dollars is what Brad Gollinghouse has stated. Listen, 5 trillion, 27 trillion, I'm not going to be mad. We'll split the difference. Put me right in the middle. Put me around 13 and a half trillion dollars. Let Ripple just get a little bit, a little piece of that, a little action on the pie. But why am I talking about that? I want to bring you back to this interview. With Brad's on stage at the Future of Fintech Conference at CB Insights, okay? Listen for like about a minute and a half what Brad talks about, and then let's get into tracing here. 
uh, and we're seeing real savings from the customers that have used XRapid. Let's let's drill down on a bit. Uh, who exactly is going to use it? So it seems big banks like a bank, you know, Chase wants to deal with a bank in London to move pounds and dollars around. No need for XRapid. You're talking about the more f sort of far flung places where they might not have a correspondent bank or they don't hold the local currency, so they're going to use this stuff instead. Yeah. So give me a specific example of who's going to use it. So one of the things we've always said is I don't think banks will be the first customers. We've talked about payment providers, and so we have run pilots out there with the MoneyGrams, Western Unions, Mercury FX, Qualix, a couple of others, and those are payment providers that have massive treasury operations. Uh, you know, using you know, one random example, you, you have a, a payment provider that has hundreds of millions of dollars of negative working capital because they've taken their dollars or their pesos and they've pre-funded and they've they pre-funded the account, so they go into Mexico. They, once a week, let's say, they'll wire $10 million to Mexico and then debit, 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 debit along the way. Now, sometimes they overfund, sometimes they underfund. The ability to have real-time liquidity is transformational. You know, the, the global pre-funded, what are called nostra vostra relationships, it represents something on the order of magnitude $10 trillion. If we can make that more efficient and more useful, we can actually accelerate the engine of commerce kind of on a global basis. Ten trillion dollars. If we just free, if Ripple, I should say we, I'm not involved, I'm not freeing this money up. If Ripple frees some of this money up and they start finding another way that they can take this money that's stuck in these dormant accounts and free up that working capital and XRP chips into this. And XRP start working in the back end for these treasury operations. And these hundreds of millions of dollars that are being used in a negative working capital become a positive working capital flow. The price of XRP is not going to be able to sit at a 30 cent XRP. It's just impossible. Okay. When we look at the price of XRP and we look what just happened in 2017 based on per speculation of a coin base listing, folks, $3.36. Uh, you know, the South Korean exchange headed up to $3.96. That thing would have ran even higher. If we look at just that and we see. All the exchanges relist XRP. We get more speculation about, you know, all these other central banks that are going to get on board. If a Coinbase listing could take the price of XRP to $4, what happens when we get the news that there's 20, 30, 40, 50 central banks that are running the private version of the XRP ledger and they are going to use XRP as a bridge asset to help free up these Nostra Vosher accounts? What happens when the speculation starts coming in that SWIFT is going to start leveraging XRP? If Coinbase took it to $4, what do you think central banks are going to take it? And that's just speculation. Speculation can cause the price of an asset to go through the roof. But now we got a lawsuit thrown in. What happens when a lawsuit comes to an end? And, the, and XRP has the first regulatory clarity given to it for a digital asset in the US. That's going to propel it to the next level. What happens when MoneyGram gets back on board? That's going to propel it to the next level. And then, you know, a Western Union or a PayPal or a Venmo, anyone who is going international with their money, gets on board and starts leveraging the digital asset. So now you take the speculation aspect of thing plus the utility and you mix it together and for XRP to be used to bridge these trillions of dollars out there, what do you think we're looking at? We're looking at a three digit XRP. Is that going to happen in 2023? I wouldn't put, you know, bedtime to donuts on it. Is it going to happen in the future? 100%. And what have I been preaching on this channel for quite some time? You know what you hold, but the hardest part is just holding it, folks. Ripple's telling you what's going on. The central banks around the world are telling you what's going on. The IMF is telling you what's going on. And you see everyone who Ripple is on stage with and doing business with. But the hardest part, like it always is, is holding the asset. That's going to do it for me, folks. High valuation of XRP is needed. It is coming. You know what you hold. You hold gold. Wash your damn hands. Be nice and be kind of each other. Ripple Van Winkle is out.